Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira work management tutorial, we will understand how as an end user of Jira work management, how the look and feel will be, what are the access that you will be getting. And if you're working just as a team member of the Jira work management, how the things will look and what all you can do in the project, right? So I'll simply log off. So what I'll do is I'll log off as an administrator. This is the admin account. And let me log in with the, uh, I again logged in as a administrator. So let me go back. So the other user that I'm logging in is not the Jira administrator. Okay. So you'll see if I'll click on this settings, right? So you do not have access to Jira settings or Atlassian admin. I have to create or I have to contact the Jira admin. So this is the normal user. And that's usually what when you are working in Jira work management or any Jira software project, this is how you will get access if you are not the administrator, right? So we were working with this Jira work management project which is RCV recruitment so say for example you are the team member and you are working on this particular project so what all you will see you will see most of the things that we saw till now in the tutorials the only thing is like you can't do any of the administration settings so you can't change the column settings here you can't go and edit so because I am the project admin or basically this user that is logged in is a project admin so that person will see the project settings but if you are just a team member and not a project manager for the business project then you won't be having that access as well so you won't be seeing this cog wheel or seeing the project settings as well so even the project manager for the business project won't be able to change the workflow or edit the workflow or update the columns this is how the Jira work management is now in terms of working in this particular project you can simply go to the list all other accesses will be available there say for example I want to create an item or work item I can simply click on the plus sign and I have the access to create the work item right so I'll simply say work item and enter and you will see the work item got created in the list right and this is the new user that has reported it this is this is me logged in as a project admin right you might be working as a team member so you won't see the project settings but you will be still be able to add the items you will be able to see the items on the board and then move the items accordingly on the workflow as the items progress into the project right you will be able to have the access to the calendar the timeline etc so all of that even though you are not the Jira administrator you will be having the access because you are actually working in the project as far as you are the member of the project depending on the roles and access level provided to those role you will be having the access on this particular project now with the Jira administration whether it's Jira software or the Jira work management there is a possibility that the access level has been restricted for certain roles or members of the team so if that's the case and your Jira work management has been customized you might not be able to access few things so if you encounter those sort of things the right question to basically ask is to go to your project manager or the lead and ask you are not getting that access then you will get an answer whether you are supposed to get access for that or not right so that's that's how you can basically go ahead and sort things out the good thing once you know all these things access level and the concept behind the Jira and the tools it shows that you know the stuff and it, it's a sort of a good impression when when you do not go bl blindly or blank and and do not know what happens behind the scene so that is why i'm basically covering that in case you are not able to add the item to the list or to the board you know that you do not have access or you do not have permission so you can ask question whether this particular role which i am in has the permission or not right um moving to the other so forms i can because i'm the project administrator so i can still basically update the form or create the form so project admins can also create and update the form for this particular project right then in the issues you can get the issues for that particular project you can search either through the basic search or the advanced search through the jql right and you have the access to report and in the project settings only if you are the project administrator now once you are logged in as a user you can go ahead and personalize your 
user settings as well okay so go to the cogwheel and you can update your time zone and other profile information or the personal jira settings right so if you'll go to personal jira settings you can update the details for example you, the watch issues right so watch issues if you are um, if you check say for example you are watching issue if i'm watching the issue if there is any update happening on the issue i get notified via the email if i check this i'll get the notifications via email if i'm the reporter so i can update all these details accordingly and then those personal settings will take effect for my profile right so let me go back to the project recruitment project and that's pretty much it i think this is this is all about the personal settings how you can update the personal settings you can go to this profile settings and change the profile your profile image etc so i can go to the profile here and i can update the profile i can update other details so say for example i what what my role is the department etc i can update all of that and then i can also go to the account settings and personal settings so this is jira personal settings where we were from this particular cogwheel right i can go to jira personal settings or my profile or the account settings so i can go to the account setting and update the profile and visibility right so a lot of possibilities for the user to customize the look and feel for yourself for your profile and for the project that you are working with with you will be depending on your role you will be having access to work on the item so basically you'll be say for example you are responsible for these work items you can go ahead and move or work on those items and close the items so that's all about this brief tutorial on if you are a member of a team and working on jira work management project what all access you will have and how you are going to work on the issues and progress the issues there is nothing complicated as such if you are a member you simply have to pick the task the tasks that are assigned to you you can filter based on assigned to yourself due this week and mostly check what is assigned to you and work on those items right so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching